Hi, welcome to Surviving the Journey with Jill. I'm here today to do a solar oven with a tire, which I'm sitting on, and I will show you right now how to make a solar oven with a tire. So here is my solar oven that's supposed to be cooking, and here is what happened. The clouds came. So I think the sun's trying to break out. You can see there's open the horizon there but I think I'm gonna go ahead and open it up so this is what I did so I have this as my lid it's a circle I put in a thermometer so let's see how hot it got it's only like can you see that there you go it was a little over a hundred but now it's down and that is my rice pot hot. Um, so I'm going to turn this off. I'll be right back. I'm going to go get a thingy to pick it up with. Hang on. <laughs> so Lilith made a run for it. All right. So let's see what happened. This has been out here since 11 and it's now after three. Oh my gosh, it cooked. Look at that. I'll be darned. It cooked. I didn't think it would because it only got to be about 150 degrees. Now what I did is I cheated. I didn't See, I didn't put in my tire, I didn't do any insulation, I just put this, uh, this thing, uh, it's that solar stuff that you put in the windows, I use that as my base, and then the foil for the inside, and then that lid, which I just put away because now of course it's windy, and the black pot, but I also did something, I didn't know if it would work or not, is I lifted the base a little bit. Lilith's gonna help today. <laughs> I lifted the base a little bit to try to get a better angle on the sun. But I, as you can see, it's pretty, the pot is pretty, um, is this like, on the video here. The wind's blowing my hair is in my eye, I can't see. Um, so I put it pretty deep in the pot. I wasn't sure if it would work, I mean in the tire. So cool, it worked. All right, I'm gonna go take it inside before it starts raining, hang on. So here's what I did. I see I lifted it a little bit in the back and then I put some wood blocks to raise it up a little bit. I just tried the rice. It was totally disgusting. It was mushy. It cooked too long. Who knew? Four hours in the tire is too long. What some people do is they put, I, when I was looking on the different ways, is they put insulation in there and then they make sure it's flat on the ground. But my foil across the bottom, I think, um, took care of that seal and then sealing here. So most people lay a glass um, case over the top, but the reason I didn't do that was because traveling, the last thing I want to do is to drive around with a large piece of glass. And so I just used the, um, in the I cut a circle and I used that um, stuff that you bake turkeys in. It's plastic. So I just created a styrofoam seal. So it worked good. So I hope you enjoyed that short little version of cooking with a solar tire oven. It worked pretty good, except for the fact that um, four hours apparently at 150 degrees is too long for white rice black. Um, a little bit shorter. Next time I want to try baking bread, I may show you that if it turns out. And don't forget to join me at JillElizabeth.net where I post a podcast Monday, Wednesday, and Friday by noon talking more about how to survive this journey with me. Thank you.